Okay, next uh, one was the joiner. I wanted to just have a look at the joiner. Um, so what we did with the joiner is we basically made it so uh, it's a single dialogue. It's not um, it's not a wizard anymore. So here I'm I'm reading some data. Basically, I'm reading a bunch of zip codes. I'm trying to join it to all of the addresses in my address database. Uh, so if I click OK and just run that, excuse me, um, hopefully we're going to get some output there, and here we are. So what did I get out of that? Um, well, I didn't get any additional data for a reason I'll, I'll... Click on things in the table, Mark, they should light up. Oh, there you yeah. go, yes, you're right. So it tells me how many match records I've got. But it didn't tell me anything else. It didn't attach any attributes. And I just wanted to point this out because it was a bit of a gotcha for me. Um, we've got this additional thing here, fields to add. And it was a bit more obvious when you were going through the wizard. But now it's not uh, so obvious. So unless you actually go in here and say, these are the fields I want to add, you won't get them. So that's that's a bit of a gotcha I just wanted to mention. Uh, yes. Because that, that really threw me uh, for a bit of a loop. So now we should be able to uh, query that, and that information is going to be down here. So we've got, there you go, we've got 3,000 attributes on that now, 3,000 wow. addresses basically in a list. That, um, you don't have to make a list either now, right, Mark? That's one of the cool things. That's right. That's exactly what I was going to mention next. So um, yeah. we now have this additional option. It says, what happens when it's a multiple match? Do you want to add it to a list like that, or do you want to create... A separate feature for each match. I can so hear before people you... cheering across the continent here, or the world, for that option. <laughs> <laughs> so before you had you had to use List Exploder afterwards. Now you don't. It's all sort of built in. So um, we can run that, and instead of getting eight features out, we get twelve thousand features now. So it's going to take a little bit longer to do that. Uh, and maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense in here. Why would you want the same zip code twelve thousand times? But Hopefully you get the idea. The, there's uh, many scenarios where that is uh, definitely a desirable result. Absolutely, yes.